Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to teach you how to set up and configure Amazon Cloud Cam, which is a security camera, uh, wireless IP camera, which you can uh, use to monitor your home, your office, your business, or any application. Uh, it has mul multiple features such as motion detection, uh, person detection or human detection, uh, smoke detection, uh, carbon monoxide detection, and so on. It has like a whole bunch of features which I'm going to go through and show you how to uh, set it up. So I already had two cameras um, installed around the house. So this is going to be my third camera and I wanted to make a video uh, and teach you how to do it uh, while I'm unboxing it and everything. So basically this is uh, how it comes uh, in a box and uh, basically you have to remove the box and peel off uh, this right here in order to take out the camera. So let's do that. Okay, so this should There you go. So the camera opens up and there you have it. This is the little camera. It's a pretty neat camera, concise, compact, uh, mountable and also uh, you could mount it on the wall or also leave it on 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 top of a desktop or something. Um, it comes with instructions manual, uh, charger, power supply, two uh, mounting screws, and a mounting plate with cord. Let's see, where is the mounting plate? Okay, so this is the, the power supply cord or USB, and this is the mounting plate which you uh, use to mount it on the wall. Basically, that's what it is in the box, nothing else. Let's close the box. Alright, let's see how we do this. Make sure I turn off my phone before I get any calls. Alright. So basically, the box contains the following items. The camera itself the USB cable, the mounting uh, plate which you put two screws and mount it in the wall this is the top, this is the bottom uh, once you mount it in the wall this will simply slide so you have to remove this plastic, clear plastic and it will just slide like that so basically that's how it's gonna mount so you would be using the camera like this if you wanna do them mounting uh, option. I mean you don't have to mount it, you could just set it on a desk or set it on top of a you know cabinet or something. You could, uh, there's so many applications okay and we have uh, the charger, screws and the uh, instructions manual. So basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six items included in the box as you open it. Okay so now let's plug it in and configure this with my Amazon account okay so we will unwrap this you could fast forward these sections if you don't want to look at it but I'm gonna leave uh, the actual speed I'm not going to fast forward the video because people some people might even need help uh, on certain things that may be very easy for other people okay so this goes right here, this plugs in right here, very nice and neat. This right here is a cord holder. If you're doing a wall mount, the cord will be there so that it's kind of out of the way like that. So that's like a cord, uh, wire holder. But if you're just leaving it on a desktop, then you don't even need that. Okay. All right, so now let's go to the setup. First thing we need to do is plug it in. So I have a wall a plug here, which I'm going to plug it in. We're going to remove these.
plastics or I should say protective plastic all around it. A lot of people leave the protective plastic on new electronic devices, but it's not recommended because uh, all electronic devices generate certain amount of heat. And in order for the heat to dissipate and basically um, for the unit to cool off, it needs to have its original surface uh, basically uh, facing the uh, ambient temperature or outside air. If you uh, block all the vents and holes and uh, surfaces, you it's like wrapping something in a blanket and it will overheat. So that's why it's always good to remove the wrapping plastics from the electronic devices so they can breathe and they can dissipate the heat as they generate while they are operating. Okay, so now I'm going to pair this, ca uh, this camera with my Amazon account and here's how we do it. First, before you go to Alexa app, you have to go to uh, Cloud Cam uh, uh, app and uh, let's go and camera is in pairing mode. Pairing mode means the, uh, the light is uh, basically uh, switching, switching between uh, blue and green back and forth and that's what it's doing. So now it's trying to find the camera. You have to give it some time. Camera found. Bingo. And now you need to name the camera. What do you want to call this camera? So let's call it Backdoor for now. You could do a custom name. You don't have to choose any of these names. So now I'm going to have to punch in my password. One second. Oh yeah, the cameras are going into like 2.4 gigahertz networks, not on 5, uh, because 2.4 gigahertz networks, despite the fact that they're slower, uh, their reach is further uh, uh, more. Uh, so basically, it's uh, the the distance or uh, uh, operational range of a 2.4 gigahertz network is much more than the 5 gigahertz network. So the camera is all done. Uh, Preparing the camera. Uh, the camera is uh, linked to my account. So let's see if we could get a, a picture now. Preparing the camera. So there you go, that's uh, my image right there. The camera has uh, successfully uh, linked. Okay. All right, so that's how you do it. Now I'm gonna show you how to do all the good things here, like setting it up and everything. So now let's go back to the Alexa app and at the camera. Okay. Add a camera, Amazon Cloud Cam. Discover. Now this is discovering the camera. It says 45 seconds. It should be a lot faster because the camera has been already discovered in the Amazon Cloud Cam uh, app. So we are basically adding it to the Amazon Alexa so that we can, we are able to uh, con control the camera. Uh, Okay, so set up device. So do you, if, if you want to add the camera in a group of cameras, let's say all the cameras facing the backyard or all the cameras facing uh, front yard or facing indoor, uh, these are the things you could do, but I don't want to choose a group. I just want to use it as a backdoor camera and that's it. So now 
I'm going to show you how the Alexa app works. So let's bring our Alexa Echo device. Hopefully the cord will reach. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to use the Amazon uh, devices to see if we can access the camera. All right. So let's go to the... So this is our Amazon Alexa. Show the back door. Okay. So this is the camera which I named back door. Alexa, stop. Okay, now I'm going to ask it to show the stairway. Alexa, show the stairway camera. Okay. You don't have to say camera, just show the stairway is enough. So that's my stairway right there. Now I'm going to ask it to show uh, the front door. Alexa, show the front door. Okay. So that's the front door and so on. So basically it's pretty simple. And now I'm going to show you some of the setups that you can do with the Amazon Cloud Cam. Alexa, exit. So now I'm going to show you how to customize certain features in your Amazon Cloud Cam. Because there are a lot of features that you can customize. Uh, it's good to see and learn. So here are some of the features that you can customize. If you go to Amazon Cloud Cam app, uh, let's go to the uh, to the stairway camera. So you could do this. You could go to camera on off. You could adjust that. Record audio, yes or no. Right now it's enabled. It is recording audio. Notifications is very important. So it says receive notification for motion event event detected by your cloud cam. So current option is record only. Uh, second option is to record and notify. And if you choose record and notify, then you could you check this box. But I don't want to be notified of every movement. You know, kids running up and down the stairs. I don't want to be notified. So now the second one is smart alerts. Um, Receive notification of specific motion or audio event detected in your cloud cam. So if a person goes, record only. You could choose if the person goes by, it should alert you that there's a person crossing your camera. Baby crying, uh, you could say, you know, oops, one second. You could say if a baby is crying, notify me, and, uh, you know, so that's another feature. Uh, dog barking, you could get notification if a dog is barking. And uh, the, the other one is smoke slash carbon monoxide alarm, uh, which is uh, if there is gases leaking or if there is smoke, uh, it should notify you. So how often would you like to receive notifications? Every time an event occurs, well, you could choose it, you know, once a day or whatever. So that's one. Uh, the other things, uh, like this was the notification. This is the type of uh, network. You can change the network. Like I said, it has to go to a 2.4 gigahertz. It doesn't uh, work on a 5 gigahertz because the range or the reach of a uh, reach of a 2.4 gigahertz net network is much longer and much safer. The cameras won't be kicking in and out of the wireless network if they are on 2.4 gigahertz. It's, it's much more secure, although slower, although the speed is slower, but the the quality of connection is much more secure and safe. Basically, you will have high four to five bars throughout the house where the five gigahertz network will be five bars very close to the router. As you go far away from the router, the bars will drop to four, three, down to nothing if you're in a remote corner furthest away from the router. And you could set zones, motion sensitivity. You could set it. My current motion sensitivity is very high. The smallest motion will uh, activate the recording. But you could uh, set it so that it records on if there is a major motion and not just wind blowing on a tree and the leaves moving. Okay. Uh, and then Alexa notifications, you could do that. 
uh, and uh, night vision you could enable or disable record uh, rotate video you could rotate the video like if the camera is mount uh, mounted uh, upside down then you can rotate the video 180 degrees and so on camera details and, and then you can remove the camera if you want to which I don't want to and then if you want to look at each camera you simply uh, sw swipe your hand here and you have the outdoor front door camera you have the stairway camera and you have the back door camera which is currently on my desk so it's not even on the back door right now and uh, these are the events that has been re it has recorded already now uh, Amazon gives you uh, uh, 24 hours free recording but if you want extended plans you could have up to uh, 14 days or one month recording based on your plan that you purchase uh, which is I believe I don't know what the prices are but it's I believe 100 and 199 per year depending on which plan you choose but the the one that's for uh, free basically doesn't charge anything it doesn't cost anything is uh, 24 hours recording after 24 hours the recordings will be deleted the new recordings will overwrite the previous ones uh, but if you pay and have a paid Amazon uh, cloud cam account then you could have a recording as as far as up to 30 days but yeah other than that that's what it is all right, so I hope uh, this video was uh, educational and informative. Uh, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.